hi everyone welcome back to my art channel my name is Chris in today's video I have a pin with me as well as a chit chat with me I'm going to be using Liquitex acrylic inks now I'm not an expert on this medium in fact I thought it was going to be like watercolor and while it is similar they are there is a main difference and the difference is that it dries really fast um, it took me a while to get used to it it definitely has a learning curve and you really need to be patient and honestly if you are if you use watercolor and you want to try acrylic inks I would recommend that you go into the mindset you go in with the mindset that it is going to behave differently than watercolors and that was my mistake I thought it was going to be just like watercolors and like I said before even though they have similar sim they are kind of similar um, what makes them really different is the drying time I know that sometimes with watercolors we want it to dry faster and we use our hair dryer or a hair dryer to dry the paper quicker but in this case I wanted the paint to stay wet a little longer um, as you can see I had a hard time blending and at the beginning it was a little frustrating because I could see where the paint dried but then after a while I really liked the look I really like um, to see my brush strokes and to see where the ink expanded and it left the mark I think that is something really unique and that it um, brings a little bit of personality to my piece um, I also going to say that I struggle a lot drawing the hand if you as you know hands are one of the hardest things to draw and I spent a lot of time trying to make that hand look as good as it did and then after a while I just kind of just decided to stop fighting with it and I just left it as the way it was I decided it was the best I was going to do and I didn't want to stress too much about it so I kind of left it like that as long as it's not perfect but um, I honestly was debating whether I wanted to show this video because of the hand but then the more I think about it we are we live in a society and in this time frame where we post everything on social media and a lot of the things that we see on social media are really perfect things like perfect photos of vacations um, perfect photos of artwork and that is something that as a person you choose to post and show to the world so I decided just to show this um, to show this piece even though I'm not happy with the drawing even though I'm not happy with the hands but I decided to show it because I'm very picky in what I show and of course I just want to show perfect stuff but sometimes um, we get we do artworks that we don't really like or that we are not feeling 100% and I just decided to show this just to to show that to you that it's okay to post work that was not that was a little hard for you to do instead of just posting work that is always going to turn out perfect now I'm using a magenta color for the lips I love wearing lipstick and that is something that I try to portray on my artwork on my portraits if you see any of my art then you will always see that I'm putting lipstick on my portraits because I feel that that is something that is very is something very simple but something that can be a confidence boost I feel like when a woman is wearing a bold color a bold lip color is showing that she's confident and that she's ready to rock it so I always always um, I always try to put like a bold lip color on my portraits I'm still working on the underpainting I'm just doing a light layer of the skin tone 
I apologize if my voice sounds a little weird. I am recovering from really bad allergies. Um, it's been two years, I guess, since I had really bad allergies. And it just really killed me. I was just suffering a lot. Uh, in fact, during March, March wasn't the kindest month, to be honest. Uh, it was really rough for me. I had to stay home a lot because my allergies and then I got a concussion at work uh, which uh, luckily wasn't too bad it was just a mild concussion but still I had to stay at home and I was just really out of it um, I was just struggling a lot but on the bright side the really great thing about March was that Pinterest invited me to do a live with them so if you don't follow on Pinterest, please follow me. I'm going to put my uh, username and my link down below. Um, I have a lot of um, a lot of extra content on Pinterest. But anyway, they contacted me and they asked me if I wanted to do a live with them. So every every Tuesday of March at 7 p.m. Pacific time, I did a live with them and I did my portraits, of course. But they gave me the option. They were actually pretty nice. They gave me. Um, a lot of artistic liberty of what I wanted to do so I was able to do a Posca pen portrait a portrait using the Karen Dosh Neo color tools I did one with the acrylic inks which turned out to be really nice I really loved that portrait and then I did one with watercolors um, so I didn't advertise that here on my YouTube channel just because I've been so busy with uh, Pinterest and work and trying to start my own business and trying to grow my YouTube channel so I I wish I had more time to do everything and I wish I had taken time to advertise my Pinterest lives here on my channel but unfortunately I just couldn't do everything that I wanted to do and but I'll make sure that if Pinterest invites me again to do another live which I would love to I'll make sure I announce this on my channel so you go and watch it the lives are recorded so you could go back now and watch them if you want i'm going to try to link them below i would really appreciate it if you go and watch them um uh, it's pretty much an hour of me painting from beginning to end and like i said it was it was an amazing experience i'm actually still um not believing 100% that pinterest invited me to do that but i'm very happy that pinterest is really taking into account small creators um, that want to grow and that want to expand their online presence. Um, so far, no other platform has done that for me. I mean, I just started YouTube and I've been growing little by little every day and I thank each and every one of you who has subscribed to my channel. I uh, am very grateful for that and hopefully one day I'm able to grow my YouTube channel to a point where I can support myself and stay home and do art full time. That's my goal. As much as I love my job, I also want to pursue my art career, which is something that I wanted to do since I was a child. As you saw, I finished doing the hair. The hair was really fun to do. I really love uh, people who have curls. I love curly hair and it's something really fun for me to paint. Um, now I'm going to start a little bit more of 
adding some shade and definition to the portrait I'm doing that to the hands right now so you can see exactly what they are as I talked about before I'm not really happy with the way my hands turn out but I was not going to fight it I I just figured out that the more I redo the more I was redoing them the more frustrating I was getting and I didn't want to be so frustrated because then I was not going to enjoy the painting process and I really wanted to record this video for all of you so I'm using uh, like I said I am adding more layers and adding shading to add definition to the arms and the face Now I'm adding some definition to the face. I like to always define the nose and the eyes. That way I'll give more dimension to the face. And as you will see in a second, I'm going to tilt my block just to see a little different angle. Uh, sometimes as artists, when we're working, we kind of fixate on the work and we just stay there until we're done. Uh, and I would recommend that you try to step away from it for a little bit or try to look at it from a different angle. That way you're able to catch things that you otherwise wouldn't. Now we are getting to my favorite part of the portrait. I love adding some gold to my portraits. I just feel like I just feel like it adds some dramatic effect to it, but not so much dramatic. It's almost like elegant in a way. I'm not sure how to describe it, but I just been loving adding gold to my portraits and to be honest, one of my favorite artists ever is Gustav Klimt. He is the artist who did the kiss, but a lot of his paintings, he adds this, this touches of gold. And it's almost like, like a 2D effect because it kind of flats, flattens out the painting. But then if you look at his the faces, they're very realistic. So it's this kind of like optical illusion that I just love. So whenever I add gold, I always think of him and I am not afraid to say that he is one of my favorite artists and I take a lot, of, a lot of inspiration from him. So as you can see here, I'm adding a lot of gold uh, to her t-shirt and I'm not going to worry about defining the edges of her shoulders and of her chest. To make it seem like she's wearing a t-shirt I'm kind of letting it be flat
for the background I decided to add this warm yellow I thought it was going to complement her skin tone as well as the gold color in her shirt I am one of those artists that really think about background colors lately I really like to use complementary colors when it comes to doing my backgrounds I I am a believer that once you know how to use complementary colors they'll work for your for your advantage so I'm doing the warm yellow and then I'm going to add some blue to the background to kind of make it pop I'm adding a second layer of gold to make it more opaque. The gold is very translucent, so I want to give it, I want to do more layers to make it more opaque. And then I'm also going to add more layers to the hair. Like I said before, working with acrylic inks is a trust the process type of project. Um, it's not going to look pretty at the beginning. It's going, you're going to be scratching your head and thinking, what am I doing? But just keep working. It's going to turn out good at the end. As I'm doing this voiceover and I'm looking at my art process, I am thinking that I'm not really hating this painting as much as I thought I said I was at the beginning. Um, like I said before, sometimes it's good to walk away from your work, especially if you're already frustrated, frustrated or you have a hard time with it. Um, sometimes stepping away and coming back with a fresh set of eyes will really tell you if you like it or not. Um, I know I said the hands, I work really hard on the hands and they didn't turn out the way I wanted it to, but now that I look at it, they're not that bad, to be honest. I could have done better, but they're not bad. Um, it really makes me happy that I decided to do this video for you so you could see um, the process and you could see my thought process as well, because I filmed this like two, three weeks ago, I believe. And I'm barely doing the voiceover and barely going to post it on my YouTube channel. But like I said, the more I see it, the more I like it. And that makes me really, really happy because, um, like I said, it's one of those trust the process type of paintings. But at the same time, it was really beneficial for me to step away from it and look at it with the, um, with a new set of eyes and seeing that it wasn't as bad as I thought it was.
as I mentioned early I am trying to do some complementary colors and I decided to do blue now this is more like this warm yellow a little bit orange so it blue will be the closest complement to it so I am doing this abstract background I'm doing little circles lately I like to be doing I like doing shapes I've been doing squares but with this one I just felt that the squares were going to be too much in the background so I decided to do circles uh, and they kind of flow with her hair as well I am going in with some color pencils to add some definition. Uh, I'm not happy with the way the eyes looked to be honest, but like I said, now I'm doing the voiceover and I'm looking at it. It doesn't look that bad. I am starting to add more media to my portraits before I would just do watercolor and that's it. But now I'm trying to add um, color pencil or watercolor pencils or pens or something just to add a little bit more definition to my portraits now my in real life this portrait took about an hour but i was able to um speed it up so it would only be like 25 minutes for you and like i said um thank you so much for everybody who has subscribed to my channel i really appreciate it if you want to be part of this little community that I'm trying to build here on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Um, I am trying my best to put videos for you and to grow my YouTube channel. In the meantime, you can follow me on Pinterest uh, or TikTok, even Instagram, although I'm not that really active on there. Uh, please leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you have any suggestions and if you could please tell me who is your favorite artist like I shared before my favorite artist is Gustin Klimp so I would really love to hear who is your favorite artist that really inspires you to create artwork so hopefully you like this portrait um, it was a little bit struggle at the beginning but I'm really happy with the way it turned out Again, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.